What we doing? We back, man. This is my second one. I thought probably what well, Will we'll Banks said, hey, he wasn't around last week. He, he's slacking. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. We're going to continue this journey. Now, right now, I'm kind of still in the same state I was at a couple weeks ago. Um, that's why I didn't do a video last week. I'm like, man, I ain't really. I mean, I'm, my hair is grown a mill of, mill of, of an inch. Like, ain't nothing to really talk about. But I still been this is just observing my how my hair is growing in. Uh, my sides, you know, I told y'all before, they kind of grow backwards. My hairline here grows like to a, to a strong. They call it a cowlick. I don't want whatever you want. To call it. It's growing in like this. And my top is kind of growing in slant a little bit as well. My crown is my crown is crowning. My crown is intact. My natural crown is dead. Um, it's 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 naturally swirling. What it's supposed to do anyway. We all know that. So let me hold on. Let me let me. Should I? Should I show you like yeah, a little something? Give him give him give him a little something. Bing. All right. Let's see right there. You see it dead center. That center right there. Still doing what it's supposed to do. Still doing what it's supposed to do. I feel real in your face right now. Let me. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, give, give me some space. But um, honestly, the way my. <laughs> oh, man. Listen. Pause. I've been noticing my head shape and I have like a popcorn peanut head where I have a slope. Come on, come on, come on. Cut, cut, cut. All right. Yeah. You see the slope. You see the slope right here and it dips down right here and it's it's weird. But but I've been noticing that my transition areas are going to be kind of, I'm going to have some trouble there. Um, Basically, going into this journey uh, and also seeing everything that, that's going on with my head and with my head and with my, how my hair is growing, I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm trying to fit into the frame. I don't like the way this feels right now. Can, can, we, just, can we back it up? Just get some. Ooh, relax. My, my shoulders are felt. All right, we good now. We good. All right. My bad. I'm kind of comfortable, man. We can't. I ain't gonna be sitting here talking to y'all like this. Anyway, um. So basically, what I was saying was my head shape, and as I've been observing everything going on with my hair and everything, I've just been like really trying to hone in on my angles. That's pretty much all I've been doing. Which is soft brushing. I do have a mirror. I do have a mirror. Um, that I use do use, but I'm just been. You know, going over my angles, um, practicing them in the mirror, and just figuring out how I'm, and her certain angles are going to be brushed. So I'm pre-planning my my actual brush sessions before I even really can get a real brush session in. Um, and realizing that some people don't realize this, but sometimes we have really, really, really uh, tight angles in our in our um, transition areas, meaning like when we go from different sides. From top to right, top to left, you know, da, 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 those transitions. But some, a lot of people like to use the brush a certain way when they go through the transitions or whatever, and that's cool too. But me personally, I like I like the vertical brush too much. Like if I'm coming from my left side, especially on my left side, the left side is tricky for a lot of people. Um, staying consistent, go make sure that you also. When your hair is growing in, look at the flow of your waves. Look how your waves is flowing. So you'll know if you need to make an adjustment with the way you brushing, where you're holding a brush, the angle you're taking. Um, me, I like the vertical brush through my transition area. So I like to come around and I go here. Now, when I get here, I like to hit this area right here this way. And I'm seeing what I'm doing here. I'm kind of bringing this angle because it's going to contours to my head. Because I have these slopes here on both sides. So when I come around from my left side, I'm going to give you a quick little quick little tip. Quick little. I come around from my left side. All right. 
wide brush, vertical brush. This, I'm kind of coming around like this with it. Got an angle there, it is right there. Kind of coming around like this with it. I'll show you. See how my brush is angled, everything? I'm bringing, I'm, I'm bringing it that way. I want my waves to start to break right here. I want them to, that slant to start to break right here so I can keep going with it. And everything flows nicely. That's the goal. But some people like to use the full, you know, use the brush um, horizontal when they go through. If it works for you, it works for you. But for some people, it may be issues that you have and it's that you may need a vertical brush because that angle, that window, that angle right there is so small that you may have to turn it this way and hit it so you can be more precise with, those, with that angle. And also, what I've noticed that too, a lot of people maybe, you know, when they brush it, you may have some issues on your traditional sides coming from your top to your left and from your right to your from your top to your right, either side. This may sound crazy, but it's not. It's really not. Um, you may be brushing the wrong way, right? The way you're coming around, you may be brushing the wrong way. You may need to start instead of going clockwise with you know the way you brush it here, you know. Come this way, go counterclockwise and go from the top to the left. Or, or if you are brushing that way, try going the other way and see if things change. It can, it's just it's slight things like that that can help you move those hairline forks, some some areas that you feel as though ain't moving. We we we're gonna have that. We're gonna see this journey. You're gonna see forks come down my pattern and, and fly out to here and stop. And we're going to have to figure something out. So when we get to those journeys, that part of the journey, we'll get there. But for right now, again, I'm just pre-planning and making sure that everything is looking the way it's going to look. And, and I'm, I'm just preparing myself for when I can really start brushing. and really Because right now, if I put a, a brush, a harder brush to my scalp, I'm doing more harm than good. Combing and all that type of stuff. Rushing the process is no need. Because it's not like my hair is going to stay in place. It's not like if I rag up right now, my hair is going to stay in place. It's not. It's too short. It's, it's, it's not long enough quite yet. So once it gets there, you know, we're going to be where we're going to be. Now, I could go a couple of options with this, right, when I start. I could wait till my hair gets to about a one and a half or two and do a washing style and then go from there. Or, or I could take the approach I'm taking right now, which is me kind of like, Shadow brushing, uh, pre plan brushing with my softy. I ain't making no progress doing this. Trust me, this thing ain't about to get me waves no faster and none of that. But what it is is helping me along the journey. Um, so when I, again, when I get there, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get busy. I'm ready to get busy. My angles are ready to go be locked in. So that's the goal. But I could wait, I could do washing style, lay down, and you know, um, start my journey from there which is cool, but I kind of want to catch it when I get to that one and a half, one, one and a half, and get busy, and get busy. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So probably by the end of next week, uh, or beginning of the week after, I will be actively brushing this pattern. You can tell by the length of my hair, how my hair is laying now, how my hair is flowing. I'm going to have some trouble right here on this transition. I know I am. I know I am. The way that's going to come around, I got to come around with that. I know I am. So, but I'm here for the journey. Hopefully you are too. But again, if I catch on a couple of weeks, maybe a couple more, maybe a little more information, see where we can go. You know what I mean? See anything can help you. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's along for the ride. Like, man, I ain't only no tips. I just want to see how your shit progress. Too. So, I'll be here, man. Y'all pull up on me. And I'm out of here. Aye, aye, aye.